Antimicrobial pharmacodynamics is the relationship between concentration of antibiotic and its ability to inhibit vital processes of endo- or ectoparasites and microbial organisms. This branch of pharmacodynamics relates concentration of an anti-infective agent to effect, but specifically to its antimicrobial effect. Concentration-dependent effects The minimum inhibitory concentration and minimum bactericidal concentration are used to measure in vitro activity antimicrobial and is an excellent indicator of antimicrobial potency. They don't give any information relating to time-dependent antimicrobial killing the so-called post-antibiotic effect. Post-antibiotic effect The post-antibiotic effect is defined as persistent suppression of bacterial growth after a brief exposure one or two hours of bacteria to an antibiotic even in the absence of host defense mechanisms. Factors that affect the duration of the post-antibiotic effect include duration of antibiotic exposure, bacterial species, culture medium and class of antibiotic. It has been suggested that an alteration of DNA function is possibly responsible for post-antibiotic effect following the observation that most inhibitors of protein and nucleic acid synthesis aminoglycosides, fluoroquinolones, tetracyclines, clindamycin, certain newer macrolides, ketolides, and rifampicin and rifabutin induce long-term PAE against susceptible bacteria. Theoretically, the ability of an antibiotic to induce a PAE is an attractive property of an antibiotic since antibiotic concentrations could fall below the mic for the bacterium yet retain their effectiveness in their ability to suppress the growth. Therefore, an antibiotic with PAE would require less frequent administration and it could improve patient adherence with regard to pharmacotherapy. Proposed mechanisms include 1, slow recovery after reversible nonlethal damage to cell structures, 2, persistence of the drug at a binding site or within the periplasmic space, and 3, the need to synthesize new enzymes before growth can resume. Most antimicrobials possess significant in vitro pays hours against susceptible gram-positive Cauchy. Antimicrobials with significant pays against susceptible gram-negative bacilli are limited to carbapenems and agents that inhibit protein or DNA synthesis. <laughs> 